to welcome everybody to our Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, all of those of you that are here in the church, and also those that are in the parking lot, and also those that are online. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh in splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you persevered her, preserved her from every stain by virtue of death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted into your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures on your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him, we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will so that we might exist for the praise of his glory. We who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. According to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, 
the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who is called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary, so, Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. That first reading explains why we needed a Redeemer. Because Adam and Eve failed in their living in the, the Garden of Eden by eating the fruit that was forbidden them, tricked by a snake, tricked by the devil. And so that first sin, original sin, was committed. And every generation since then has transferred that original sin, so everybody has had original sin. You know, when we think of how that whole scenario, because they made that first sin, they would su suffer now ignorance, pain, suffering, and death, and work. And we've been doing that ever since. So that original sin certainly causes that fallen nature. And every one of us knows what that fallen nature, I mean, just turn on the television and you hear all the violence and all the bad things that happen. That's from original sin. People fail to do what's right and they struggle, they're flawed. And so the need for a savior that was predicted, that was promised by God, that would come to his people to save them. And so in the fullness of time, the Lord selected Joachim and Anne to be the parents of the future Mary. They were barren. Anne was too old, she couldn't conceive. They prayed all the time for children, not a single child was given to them. They suffered because they had no children, but they did not give up. Their perseverance was strong. Once they went separately out and prayed and fasted and still persevered asking for a child. When they came back, they came together, and it was then that Anne conceived and Anne was given a singular grace in her womb when Mary was conceived that no original sin would touch her. A very wonderful privilege that was given to the Blessed Virgin Mary. So she was free of original sin. And so when we think of the Immaculate Saint Conception, this is where it happened. People always refer to Jesus was immaculate conceived. Yes, he was. But that's not what we celebrate today. We celebrate how Mary was conceived in Anne's womb and how God favored Anne and Joachim. You know, now she's that wonderful, clean, spiritual vessel that the Lord wanted all along here. If he was going to take flesh from somebody, he was going to take it from somebody that did not have original sin or any sin. And so you heard in the gospel how the Holy Spirit came to Mary and you know said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. And the Holy Spirit overshadowed her and she became pregnant. 
because her answer was yes. You know, brothers and sisters, when I think of her, yes, she wasn't afraid. She wanted to do God's will. And so she did. She, again, a second singular grace given to Mary. Two wonderful relationships, one with the Holy Spirit and one with the second person of the Trinity, Jesus that was in her womb now. You know, when I think of the Blessed Virgin Mary, she remained a virgin and stayed a virgin all her life. You know, Mary's privilege was that thus the result of God's grace and not in any way intrinsic merit on her part, meaning Christ, redemptive graces perfected her even more. So we, we always remember she was the creature that God elevated above all humanity by these wonderful privileges. We all understand when we are baptized, that's when our original sin is washed away, when we receive that infusion of sanctifying grace. But we still suffer with that concupiscence, that fallen nature, that desire to sin. Mary was privileged not to have that because she remained sinless for the rest of her life and a perpetual virgin for the rest of her life. You know, when I think of all the things that Mary did, her answer to the Lord God was always yes. When we pray, whatever the, the struggles and, that we may have, ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to intercede. She said yes, we can say yes also to whatever God wills in our lives. Mary does come through a great deal, but it requires our perseverance constantly every day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. We ask this night for the intercession of our Blessed Mother on Pope Francis. Pope Emeritus Benedict the Sixteenth, uh, Archbishop John, and all that hold and teach the Catholic Church, the Catholic faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for for our country, for the end to the coronavirus throughout the world, and we pray for Our Lady's intercession to end the hatred and the violence that we see in our towns, the civil unrest. And we may ask our Blessed Mother for the intercession for her son to bring peace upon our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for 
Our Lady's intercession for an end to abortion, euthanasia, especially from within our own state here. We pray for that she may intercede on all the lawmakers to make uh, laws that uphold the dignity of the human person from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for our Blessed Mother's intercession and all our military men and women who are away from home, especially those that are deployed in obscure locations. We pray for their safety and, and for their safe return home and for also their families this, this uh, Christmas season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for, the, for our sick in our community, especially those that are homebound, that are secluded away from us all during this coronavirus. We pray for, for them to know that our Blessed Mother is there praying for them, knowing that they are not alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for, uh, for recently deceased in, in our community, for uh, Patrick Madrid, and for all those that, that uh, have died this day and will die this night. We pray for our Blessed Mother's intercession on them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today's Holy Mass intentions are for uh, Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, the wrong day. For the repose of the souls of Joyce Schur, Connie de Arguello, Guadalupe Leva. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God the Father of mercies, hear our prayers and petitions. We ask them in faith, and we ask them through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice, which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her, on account of your prevalent grace to be untouched by any stain of sin. So through her intercession, we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the richness, fullness of your grace, 
you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may, may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us 
Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace by a wave. take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. The act of spiritual communion for our, our, our watchers online. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserve Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those people that are in the parking lot in their cars may come up for Holy Communion at the entryway of the church.